Hi guys, welcome back to Irish Footy Vlogs and welcome back to another League of Ireland news video. This is the video that consolidates all the day's League of Ireland news into one manageable package for you to enjoy. If you're new around here, please subscribe, like the video and hit your bell notification button so you don't miss a video. Let's get straight into this one, some big news today. Now we start off with some massive news coming out of Waterford FC and they are delighted to announce the appointment of Kevin Sheedy as manager of Waterford. Kevin will be assisted by Mike Newell. They've also told their fans that a number of new signings will be announced over the coming days. That's great stuff for the fans to hear that as well, to actually get something from their club in regard signings, etc, etc. Um, good interaction there from Waterford, to be fair. Very interesting signings for me, this one. I think um, Kevin Sheedy, obviously a former Irish international, heavily respected in England. Uh, he's won the first division title with Everton. Uh, I believe he played with Mike Newell at Everton as well. Mike Newell himself has won a premiership title with Blackburn Rovers. He was a striker on the main. Um, you know, they also actually worked together in Saudi Arabia with Al Shabab as well. So uh, that's an interesting one as well. So they're very much coming to the club as a package. Um, this is one that excites me, I think, uh, more so than the John Sheridan one did, I have to say. This one really excites me. I think it's one to look forward to. I'm very interested to see who they sign in the next coming days as well. Because one thing about Waterford, they tend to get gens from Scotland and England in particular. Um, they're very good at that. So it's going to be very interesting to see, to see who they bring in the next few days. Um, exciting news for Waterford, exciting news for the League of Ireland, this one. Now from one Munster club to another and Grove Moor Limited will not be taken up its call option for the takeover of Cork City Football Club at this present time. Earlier this year when City's prospects had been awarded a licence to compete in the SSC Electricity League were in danger. Preston North End, North End owned by Grove Moor, which is controlled by Trevor Hemmings, provided a financial boost by purchasing sell-on clauses the City held relating to Alan Brown and Sean Maguire. From those discussions, the possibility of selling the club arose. Now the issue seems to be the purchase of Turner Cross or the use of it on a long-term lease. It was key, the key part of the Grove Moor plan, but with the company unable to come with an immediate agreement with the grounds owners, the Munster Football Association, the takeover will not be completed prior to the beginning of 2021. Now, you know, this has been going on a while, and usually when something's gone on a while, you start to ask questions. I was asking questions a few weeks ago myself, and ultimately, you know, as it says there, the reason is they haven't come to agreement with Munster Football Association, who own, by the way, Turner's Cross. So the deal simply isn't happening. It's not dead in the water. Apparently, it could happen next year. But, um, you know, anyone who's a Cork fan is worried about not getting a license. Forrest did uh, put in a license application as a, a fail safe just in case this fell through. So this should be okay there. Um, it probably means Cork have to go as an amateur club for now in the first division. You know, they can't sign players in professional contracts or payment or anything like that. However, they do have a good youth development system. And a lot of young players got a lot of exposure last season. If they can keep them on, I think, and uh, you know, bring through more youth, you know, it'll you know, it'll keep them going for a while, I think. And sometimes these things can be a blessing in disguise as well, but we'll have to see how that pans out. It's an interesting one nonetheless. Now tonight, Danny Grant has confirmed that he's departed Bohemian Football Club. He had this to say, a message to the Bowes fans. One of the toughest decisions I'll make to leave this amazing club. Four special years that feels more like 10. So grateful for all of the people I've met during my time at the club who have helped me get to this point. Want to say a massive thank you to the management, the staff, my teammates, and especially the fans who have been so good to me over the last few years. It's been an absolute pleasure to put on the jersey and I look forward to seeing the club continue to go in the right direction and supporting from abroad. So obviously Danny Grant is moving abroad. He's obviously had talks and more or less agreed a deal with a club. We don't know who it is yet, but um, you know, it was a nice touch from Danny, I think, to the Bowes fans and I wish him well over in England. On to Derry City now, and they're posed to sign defender Danny Lafferty from Shamrock Rovers. Obviously, Lafferty's actually left Shamrock Rovers, but they're expected to announce the sign of the former Sheffield United and Burnley left back imminently. Um, I expect this to go through in the next few days. <laughs> no secret this one, I have to say as well. 
But interesting that Kieran Call signed a two-year contract, so you know they're set to have two good left backs, um, which is fair enough. That's fair enough. But uh, I think Derry fans will be looking to them to improve elsewhere as well. So uh, that's the first bit bit of business. It looks like that they're going to be completing in terms of external recruits. Yesterday's news video, I brought you the news, obviously that Mandrew and Gannon had joined Shamrock Rovers, but they have lost a player today. Right back or right wing back, Reese Marshall has moved back up north to Glenthorn FC. Um, probably a move for him. He knows Gannon has come in, so uh, you know his uh, chances of getting the team are very much limited now, it has to be said, aren't they? But a very, very good player, I have to say, whenever he played for John McGrovers, and be a key addition to Glen Thorne, I'm sure. At loan, I've been at it again. They're delighted to announce the sign of Jonathan Carlin from Cabin Teeley. The 24-year-old defender played 16 of Cabo's 18 league games last season, so um, it's the best run of signings I've seen At loan make in the last number of years, so I'm very interested and excited to see how they do in the first division next season. On to Wexford FC, and they are delighted to announce that Connick Crowley returns to the 2021 season. Crowley was the vice captain, a key squad player in 2020 with 20 starts. He was tied for the best appearance record in the year. Speaking to the club media team, Connor was looking forward to playing in front of a crowd in 2021. We only had two games last year at home in front of fans. We got two results, so they really make a difference. Looking forward to seeing them all in Ferry Carrick next season. Um, yeah, great stuff for Wexford there. Very good signing. Uh, building on, you know, last season, which was better than the season before. But they've also announced that experienced midfielder Carl Manahan resigns for 2021. So he obviously joins Connor Crowley in the mid midfield lineup for next season. So interesting stuff from Wexford. And, um, you know, they're looking to kick on. So that's about it today, guys, regarding the League of Ireland news. Not so much news today, but some big news, particularly regarding Waterford FC and Cork City. Let me know what you think in the comments on that one. And um, that's about it, guys. I'll see you again. Have a good evening. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye-bye now.